respond, you're going to get beat. This is a nice throw by Jake Garcia. Put it right there. Morris to make good decisions. Play action. Morris has three men going deep. He's chased. He loses a man. Has a man short. Wants to go deep. Wide open. Safety, 7-2. Later in the second, Kaya finds Stacy Coley over the middle. No one can catch him. Coming in his face and gets it out on time. Always able to keep his balance, and then it's just a foot race to the end zone. What a playable throw. Looking for Knighton out of the backfield. He's got it, and he's gone. All right, Kings fans, we is back with another review. So you got this man, Riley Williams, big time tight end, according to all the rate, major ratings, number two tight end in the country, 6'6", 230 plus. And here he is out wide playing receiver. This is technically like a 12 personnel set. He's your tight end, you know, but you have trips to the field side, receiver, receive your inline tight end, and then your other tight end, you know, basically playing receiver, filling that role. And, you know, he's about to do what you expect him, to, you know, at 6'6", to do. Let me get my big head out the way because some head topping's about to come around. He's going to go ahead and release for this fade. Dude's right on him, right on him, right on him. Here's the ball. Eyes on it head top now he's gonna push him out the way six six so you can imagine that stride love it love the fade potential end zone for sure but just love the fade potential in general literally just doesn't even look like he has to jump he's just scooting in the way like mm, snatching it but here comes this next angle right here uh that is legit just scary bro so he's released for that fade you can see this ball, right? This is good defense. This is literally good defense. This is making a great play. But, bruh, hand-eye coordination on 99, son. Contested catch, 99. Then you just get strided on. When you have somebody who's 6'6", six, six, look how... Let me tell you something. Let's look at this guy, right? He's not slow by any means. You know, he's not he's not the fastest person you've ever seen, but he's not slow by any means. Let's look at his feet. See how much steps he's taking? Right? He's... Take a lot of steps, right, to cover that ground. Look how much steps Riley's taking. One, two, one, two. Just literally just eating up so much ground with that. With that insane stride. That's that's just God's gifts being 6'6", six, six, you know, 240, 230 plus, whatever it is. That's insane. I can't spend. So we're going to be in a two-by-two two set here. You got Riley Williams here on the hash and slot. They're going to be rotating some coverage here. So this safety is going to be shooting over here to get this deep third. This safety is going to be coming over here for this deep middle. And, you know, this corner is dropping. So this linebacker is going to try to carry Riley up while, you know, he, while the back end's making its moves. Let's go ahead and see how that works out for him. <laughs> right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got to run that back. Let's, let's go ahead and see how that works out for him. Gets bodied on this post. I love how catch a hit. This catch is away from his body. Immediate tuck in. Here comes the move. Uh, you get dead leg. You just got dead leg. And then here comes the stride. Literally. It's like three yards a step. It's, it's insane. But again, you get... I'm going to leave that kid alone. And then uh, away from his away from his body. So when this safety was coming down, getting dead leg by 6'6", six, six, uh, 230 plus tight end. Then you get dead leg. Here comes the speed down. It doesn't take long to realize that, okay, bro, he's an athletic specimen. I remember when I did the Elijah Arroyo film review, and I was just like, oh, my God, bro. Like, how is this kid even alive? Like, where did they do this at? And then same feeling over here. So tight end U is in great shape. All right, Kings fans, so back into a two-by-two two set. You got Riley up here at the top, split out wide. It's going to be a cover three. Look, you see this guy has deep thirds. This safety is supposed to, you know, have this inside help. He is in no man's land. So you'll see what happens here as Riley go ahead and runs this post, eats up this cushion. This dude did not uh, get back deep enough, so now he's over his head. But, of course, you know, the ball is a little late. And this lollipop, it's throwing a little high. And I, I would do that, too. I would honestly throw a jump ball every time I'm throwing it to him. But just love to see him uh, eat up some ground, head top this guy with a late ball. 
you always love to see, you know, people finish the play. There's plenty of times where it's an underthrown ball and receivers and, you know, definitely prima donna type receivers. Like, ugh, they start just blaming stuff. But, hey, man, the ball's in the air. Go play football. Go moss this dude real quick. You know you're better than him. Let's do it. Love to see this because you can't be 6'6", tight end, and just only catch passes, bro. Uh, maybe elsewhere, but not at Miami. You got to be able to block, bro. You got to be able to block. Jeremy Shockey would not be Jeremy Shockey if he wasn't blocking for, you know, the staple of great running backs that we've had, bro. So you, you better be able to block, bro, especially on Mario Coach team. So this is him at inline tight end. This is the unfortunate guy for this clip. Let's go ahead and run this. Yeah, bro. Love that. Finish through the ground. Look how long his arms are. Like, Buddy feels like he's, like, two steps away from him and he still has his hands on him finishes to the ground so look, but he's holding on to his jersey trying to you know roll him up with him but again that's a pancake that's physicality that's what i expect from somebody six six you can't just be up you know head topping people we love that we want that that's actually what gets me excited the most but you need a block for rooster you need a block for you know parish that cheney you know citizen we got running backs too so got a block for them boys all right, Canes fans, so here's Riley split out wide. They have their trips to the field side. They have him back side one-on-one. -on -one. It's man across the board, cover one. You got your one safety here. Uh, so check this out, right? It's third down and six, you know, some change. Maybe third, third and a long five, whatever you want to say. Uh, he, look at this route. He's going to be running a comeback route, but he's going to break it so he can get to the sticks. Gets the gets his off the line of scrimmage here. Don't really like to swim. On the line of scrimmage, because that's going to open up all that, especially when you're that tall. Uh, but it works for him here. You'll see him probably get used to some slapping and ripping when Stephen Field and, uh, you know, Coach Gaddis get with him. But love it that he's making this comeback. You see where he breaks at? Two yards in front of the first down. So he has to come down to the football. And if he gets tackled immediately, he's still going to get that. Comes back down to the football. Breaks this tackle, right? Dead legs this safety. Now we upfield. Like, you have to remember, this dude is like 6'6". It's insane to see him moving like agile like that. So, great route. Great way to understand, you know, down and distances and how to, you know, make sure you stay on the field to continue balling. Comes back to the ball because you're a baller. Breaks the tackle. Dead legs. Like, damn, bruh. You, like, how does it feel getting dead leg by somebody? Like, that shouldn't even be playing football, really, bro. But like the effort, he came down, chased down, didn't make the tackle, but didn't give up. But insane, insane, insane stride, insane ability at 6'6". Six, six. This is somebody who's going to be a dynamic tight end at tight end you. And it's crazy because it's just like, bro, back to back to back to back to back to back. There is no debate. There is no debate, baby, who's tight end you. All right, Kings fans, so back with a two-by-two two set. You have your inline tight end, your receiver split wide. You got Riley here at the top playing receiver. It's just a simple, just bail uh, defense cover four type look, but this essentially turns into a man situation uh, for this guy. Let's see how that works out for him. Balls up in the air. Eesh, that's good defense, bro. Got a hand on it, but not enough, bro. You just getting head topped. Like, this is, make no mistakes, this is why we're going to love him. Because, not just because he's going to be blocking, he's going to be physical. But, dog, this man is going to head top people. You're thinking about Kobe Young. You're thinking about, you know, Arroyo. All the size, Skinner, all the size. They, you know, they came in wanting to get bigger, stronger, and faster. They're bringing in bigger and stronger, faster recruits now. And, and I, I can't wait. To just be sitting there in Hard Rock Stadium and that ball is just hanging in the air and I can sense the fear of that DB. Like, <sighs> I need that. I haven't seen that really at Hard Rock since Cager head top Julian Love. I need that. I need that. I need that. It's over, bro. Like, that's not even fair, but he barely has to jump, bro. We should be playing power for it right now. Out here, head topping cornerbacks. Insane. Bruh. I, I low-key wasn't even going to put this on there, bro, but I got to. Two by two. <laughs> Rally out wide, bro. It's man. It's man. <laughs> Let's run the clip. Little boy. 
has the right idea. You know, get into him. Be physical. Don't just, you know, back down. However, he's still going to just run straight. And then he, <laughs> he's still too damn small. So this is what happens. That's That's very unfortunate. Quarterback just lets it go. Easy touchdown. It's man here. So... You have this slot going up the seam. The safety's protecting the inside. So this is literally one-on-one. -on -one. I don't know why you would have did that. But, hey, it happened. And that's what happened because of that easy touchdown. But, again, just getting bodied. Wah, wah, wah. All right, Kings, man. So... You got trips to the field side. Riley is one on one back here. Y'all already know what time it is. We in the red zone. <laughs> Instant head top loaded up on your screen. Uh, so this is exactly what he's gonna bring, no matter where. Uh, you know, no matter what's the plan with him, is gonna bring an instant red zone threat here. He's gonna run this fade again. This is good defense. Gets into his chest plate, able to get hands on. But when you just play above the rim like this. This is great defense. This is contested catch. This is 99 contested catch, bro. DB is playing this perfect. Got into your chest plate. Got a hand on the football. But, again, you're just a head top maniac. Able to control the ball through the ground. This is a great catch. Like, no lie. This is definitely a crazy, crazy great catch. This is good on good. The defender had a good swipe here. And this ball isn't like a high top ball that you would have expected. This ball is more of like, you know, going towards the pylon. Able to just get it hand-eye coordination on a hundred. <sighs> Super excited what this guy can do here in the red zone. Yeah. I love this and probably so does Coach Gaddis. Uh, you're going to have a two-by-two two here. You have two receivers here. You have one receiver out wide. Here's Riley in line tight end. He's going to be running a corner route here. So let's just let you guys see this, and we'll talk about it. Love to see that. So he's bracketed. So he's going outside release, and he's going to cut back inside of the defender's leverage, who's you know going to pass him on to his safety. Breaks for the corner. Like, this is just an athlete out there, 6'6", six, six, running like that, running routes like this out of here. You know, going outside stem, seeing, reading the leverage of the defender, being like, right, hey, I need to get back on my marker. I'm going to stack back inside and then make my uh, break to the corner. Like, this is somebody 6'6", six, six, doing this, you know, after with their hand in the ground. So it's just like, poof. now you understand, like, this guy, he can do pretty much anything. Like he can run the routes uh, downfield, line up in the slot. He's gonna run them, you know, with with bodies inside in line at tight end. This is just insane ability as tight end, and it just rightfully so that he's coming to the University of Miami. All right, we're just gonna highlight a couple plays of him just being a bully. Like if you was that size, bro, I'm pretty sure everybody would do this too, bro. Plays over, released to run play. Oh, my God, bro. Bro, this man literally force pushed this boy like he Darth Vader, bro. <laughs> it would have looked so much worse, bro, if he would have just stopped. But since, like, he pushed this man at, like, the freaking 35 and he lands at, like, the 30. Like, if he didn't walk up there, you would have really seen that. He, he just pushed that boy, like, five yards. Like, bro. <laughs> that boy know the tricks of the dark side over there. But uh, let's get straight into this next bullying play. It's going to be a little uh, stretch, pistol stretch. Love the physicality here. Back to back, just showing him that he's a bully using that size. You don't want no big softy, bro. I'm sorry, bro. We don't do big softies down here at the University of Miami. Love a guy who is going to get nasty and get after it. I'm pretty sure Coach Field and Coach Mario and Coach Gaddis all have that same mindset. So he's going to fit right in. I right, can't spin. So here we're going to have Riley in the slot. Another two by two. Look, there's going to be some cover three going on. So as this cornerback's uh, dropping deep third, this uh, flat, uh, this is basically the flat defender. He has to come out here. But rightfully so, he tries to get a hand on Riley as he goes up. But great footwork here by Riley. Able to go ahead and give him that pressure step on his toes. Doesn't let him get a hand on him. So he. It basically, he wants to delay him so his safety, you know, to help his safety out. Since he does not get a hand on him as he breaks for this dig, well-thrown ball before this uh, other defender can come underneath because he's replacing the middle here. Well-thrown ball, catches it on the 
catches it on the run. Boom. Now look at that long stride. Long stride, long stride, long stride, all the way to the end zone. It was nice to see him, a little intricacy in the route running right here, not letting that guy uh, disrupt, disrupt the timing of that. Disrupt the timing. This safety is going to get there. Maybe this guy gets in front of that, and that's a pick. So, like, it's that's great to see uh, that he was just not letting himself be stopped. Don't let that guy get his hands on you. Not only am I big, but I've proved I'm a little agile. All right, Kings fans. So, again, 12 personnel, heavy set. There you two tight ends. Here's Riley at the top. He's going to be delayed, delay speed out. He's going to go ahead and block, block, and then just release. Gets this little out route, but again, this poor safety, bro. Like, bro, <laughs> like, if he would have just stopped moving, like, bro, you're getting tossed like two steps in from the sideline. You're like three steps over. Like he's running out of bounds. Like his dog had to had to tackle you after that. Like it doesn't matter that you out of bounds, bro. He had to tackle you after that. Like <laughs> that got the whole team hype. I love that, bro. Just love the physicality. Love the strength. Like again with the with the Darth Vader force push. This man, oh my God, bro. Love the physicality, bro. When you're so physically imposing, bro. Don't be a softy, bro. Be a menace, dog. Be a menace, and I'm loving to see it. All right, Kings fans, so love love this from Riley. He's going to have the two-by-two two set. He's going to be the inline tight end right here. He's going to be running this seam, right? So they're cover three, so that's the weakness because you got the corner out here. The corner out here, safety in the middle, right? But he has to be as deep as the deepest man. So the window is right after you pass this second-level defender. Love, love how he turned immediately as he's passing. Outside release, get out that DN. Head is already around. That's how you're able to make that catch before. This is that's the window. This is literally the window before that safety can get over. You have to look. If you're not looking, quarterback not gonna throw you the ball. And if you do, it might be a pick because you didn't look. Love how he's just knowing the football situation, bro. Look at his head right here immediately. As soon as because if I'm even, I'm leaving. So he's already in. He's already in the window. Mm. Football IQ to match. Big body targets, able to absorb hits from a coming down safety. Love what I'm seeing from Riley. This is just nasty. They, they're literally diverting resources for this not to happen, and it happens. They're basically bracketing him. Double coverage here. He's going to be running this post route from the outside. Balls high. One hand snag. Like, bro, you mossing two people with one hand. But that's just it. This is just the beginning. Like, yeah, bro, you're double coverage. And, like, yeah, I get it. You're a four-star. You're going to one-hand this thing on double coverage. But did you know that he also works for Portland, Oregon Public Transportation? Because he's out here giving bus rides. <laughs> <laughs> bro, there's one play, bro. Like, that I was like, bro, come on, son. Yes, you're going to post this on double coverage. But, bro, they're literally on you at, like, the 12, bro. You're dragging these boys 12 yards, my dude. He ain't have he ain't have no money to throw in on the bus ride. So he was like, ah, all right, all right, all right. But, bro. <laughs> Some things is just too, too insane, bro. That's one of them. Love to see this in the running game on an inside zone here. We're going to have an inline tight end. Out of there. Out of there. When you drive somebody off the ball eight yards, then pancake them, you love that. Love to see it. It doesn't even burst into him. Literally just, you know, he's, he's here in the patty cake position. And then arms extended. Then he just starts moving his feet. Like, bro, you really try to get off my block? Like, he, I feel like he felt disrespected. Like, he was like, all right, bet. I'm going to create this hole. And Buddy's trying to make a play. And he's just like, bro, what? He tried to sling me? Now I'm going to drive you to the ground. Love the physicality that you see from in the run game. You got to match the, with that physical talent just to receive a threat. Nah, you got to be a running, you got to be a threat in the running game as well. Love this here. So defense is in man. You have Riley here at inline tight end. You're going to go ahead and uh, basically get this slant, which is going to create uh, some traffic for this safety trying to get over because it's man coverage. So they're expecting this linebacker to stick on this little speed out. It's not going to happen. Some little traffic here. Gives Riley a little head start. 
that stride gets him to the end zone. But this is a red zone threat all day. You, he can get it done either on these little quick out plays, these little um, that you saw, you know, Mallory eat, Brevin eat that we've been known to do, these little quick out rollout plays. He could definitely continue to do that. That stride is just insane. All right, Kane's fan. So this play is, is going to be, you know, a normal routine play until you get to the very end. There's going to be something very impressive about a 6'6", 230 plus, you know, tight end showing body control on the sideline. So let's just get straight into it. Inline tight end here. They're going to be doing a little play action. Uh, he's going to have a delayed crossing route. You're going to let all these guys get deep because these two guys are going on post routes. So it's going to get all everybody out of the way. You'll see it in real time. It's actually a pretty great concept. You'll see uh, Coach Gaddis run it. He ran it at Michigan. Here you go. Here's the delay. Here's the delay. He's letting these guys flow up on the run fake and then letting these guys get deep with these two guys uh, running these posts, which is going to, in turn, open up this lane for him to just continue to cross. Quarterback's on the run here, scrambling out. But this is insane, bro. Look at this 6'6", 230-plus guy just stop on a dime. And chop his feet and stick it in bounds to make sure he has that reception. But he's running like full speed. Body control. E. This man going to be a menace, dog. I can't believe the world. I'm messed up now. <laughs> Alright, Kings fans. So it's going to be trips to the right. You have Riley here as your inline tight end. They're going to be bringing this nickel on a blitz. So they'll be dropping Buddy underneath Riley. And then the safety over top. So it's like a bracket for him. But love to see him just release over here. You'll see it real time. See the guy drop underneath. Then the safety come over top. They try to close that in to replace this guy that's blitzing. Try to get cute. Uh, it's a nice little concept. Probably would have threw a pick if uh, it wasn't a 6'6 six, six target. You know, it's kind of hard not to <laughs> see what's going on with that. But anyways, little little thing for the defense here. But love it. Running up that seam, bro. You know you're going to get hit. That big body can impose on that safety like there's a lot of times as receivers you don't want to make get hit there's going to be a lot of times as a safety you don't want to make this hit so i love that able to make this catch through contact get that first down but be physically imposing uh this is what's going to be great for us because there's no way you know safeties want to do this all day if we have you know arroyo riley up the seam skinner like bro they do not want to tackle them boys like that bro like you're, they're gonna hurt themselves before they hurt them bro and i can't wait bro because this is what tight end you is all about i still need my receivers to get all that love but when you can get a, a tight end and put them at slot i'm all for that